Uh, Nancy's clocks um, are looking slightly shabby in second hand. It looks like they've used the original uh, mounting bracket and then chopped uh, them down to sort of suit, but the instrument binnacles, the casings broke on it and looking slightly tatty. And the whole thing really could do with some uh, TLC to say the least, so at some point I'm going to uh, fabricate some sort of box or mounting bracket or frame or something to hold the tackle. Uh, the old DEFCON switch, the on off switch, um, I'm, I'm actually going to keep that, it's grown attached to that really now. Uh, but the uh, neutral light and um, oil light I'm going to replace with these uh, little small LEDs which I can pop around the, uh, the GO switch um, and make a slightly neater job of it really. So it's not as easy as you imagine, or maybe it is, I don't know, but I always find it pretty difficult to get this sort of thing sorted out. Give it a go though. If it did it ignited, that'd give you two and a half mil each side, wouldn't it? That's 45. I've got one of these die cast aluminium boxes which I'm going to mount the taco and various gubbins in with the lid being the fascia board. Um, <clears throat> just been looking, however, and if it's mounted dead central, the only problem really is the with the large hole in here, there's only a tiny little bit of supported um, structure there, which will make it inherently weak. Um, I mean, I can make it fractionally smaller because I've over-egged that hole size. But what I'm thinking is if I move it further up, so it's over to one side, it'll, it'll have much more of a support when it comes to the round through that hole. I've just got to decide whether I, I like it one side or the other. But ultimately, it's going to be somebody else's bike, not mine anyway. <laughs> I'll be going around measuring all the cups, making sure they're uh, finding one which is 89 mil 85 millimetres, so I can get me perfect circle. <clears throat> this is one of the advantages of uh, work, working in the kitchen. Well, with it being die cast, you have to be reasonably careful with it when you, you try to cut it because it has a habit of fracturing. Um, it's not like aluminium um, plate, which is a bit more malleable. This is quite uh, delicate, really, in some sense. It's very light. However, the, the standard way of doing it is obviously with a circular to start with is drill several holes you know, as many as you can get really and then uh, chomp out the bit between so it's a rough jagged hole and then file it smooth um, what I'll probably do is use the holes to get the bit major hole first and then with the jagged edge I've got a, a dremel with a, a, um, a steel burr and that should be able to smooth it off so it's nice and smooth I mean to be fair as as long as it's not too gash, it'll be just be you won't see it because the taco face will cover the actual hole anyway. Mounting the taco into the plate, what I'll probably end up doing is, is a similar method of, of a bracket going over these so it's pulled up against the face. I mean, you, you can, in fact, once it's through, you can make a, a rubber band or a, a zip tie or something like that to hold the taco in place hard up against this plate. There's not much, not much to it really.